What is up, guys? And of course, as always, welcome to another VPL Valhalla Pokemon League Battle Season 3, Week 4 versus Shadow Shoe or the Tokyo Raichus. Now, uh, Shadow Shoe is a very, very different being, really. Um, definitely gonna go with this before I even start the match. Um, Shadow Shoe is one of those players that plays uh, unconventional a lot of times and does this successful. So, going into this game, I knew I should expect everything because he might just be able to pull everything off. So with that in mind, he has three members that didn't make it. They actually have just a team of six Pokemon. So the ones that didn't make it, I was really surprised by it, was Gastrodon and Toxapex, but also carries Cortana. Cortana made sense not bringing even with my team in mind, but definitely not seeing those defensive checks there was really, really surprising. This is definitely showcased for me already. That is, this is definitely a more aggressive team towards my team. Uh, so we see Medisham here, we see Pikachu, uh, which I definitely didn't think was going to come. That's why I didn't bring Chalcion actually for this specific one. Well, we have Haldragon, Sylveon, Meloetta, and Golisopod. Now, Golisopod is very, very dangerous. It's a Pokemon that I do believe is much more strong in the leagues. So uh, that's why I have Buswell here. I have a more of an um, uh, offensive Buswell with some defense investment. Uh, basically, whatever type of Golisopod this is, uh, my Buswell can do very well against it, no matter what. And roost against it, you stall it out. And. Uh, my premier thing here is since we don't see any defogger, I know I can get a rock, so that's definitely a priority. The Zidua here is a scoffed adamant to be able to want to kill a Medicham if I'm forced to capitalize on that. Uh, Garchomp with a Roselli Berry, mainly here to be able to stay in against Sylveon and hopefully KO its return. We have a Fake Out Adamant, the Law Pony with Power Up Punch, Return, and High Jump Kick. Um, Devil Ship is here. The Power Up Punch was because of Gastrodon and Toxapex. So I will not be able to capitalize on that, and that scares me. And then we have Metagross, a bit of a more um, Assault Vest variant here, a bit more Assault It is an Assault Vest variant, uh, which Meter Mash, I do believe, send Headbutt, Grass Nod, and uh, Pursuit. So very straightforward set here, but his main thing here is to be able to Pursuit Trap a possible Milueta, but also was supposed to want to kill a Gastrodon, which clearly we aren't. It is a naive nature this time around, so it's an offensive variant with a lowered special defense and Assault Vest, so you guys figured that one out. Um, it was supposed to be something, I think I was aiming for Naughty actually, uh, but decided to get the extra speed to uh, creep a speedier um, Sylveon and Milueta, which is... Um, or Modest Meloetta, I do believe Speed is still beyond, so it's, it's a bit of a mixed bag. And uh, then we have uh, Life for no, Spix, uh, Alola Ninetales with Freeze Try and Filler Moves, I do believe HP Ground and uh, Blizzard and Moonlast. Uh, reason for Spex is because it has no good switching towards Freeze Try. Uh, the only thing, no, actually, it has nothing. So, with that in mind, I decided that it was a, a very, very scary set to use. And definitely major props to Ikki Sprite, who has helped me with this Wiper Bell. That set really is his, he definitely saw this opening. And yeah, we decided to run with it. And just as a straight hand, since we see the matchup as it is, I'm not sure of what his possible lead could be. Though I am scared of uh, Golisopod, I'm scared of uh, Pikachu lead, and I'm scared of Medicham lead. So with that in mind, I'm gonna lead off with my Decidueye, hoping that it outspeeds everything on his team and does heavy amount of damage towards his team. And of course, if it leads off in Wendersham, I might very well want to kill it because I have a big chance of doing so since I am adamant. So from the get-go here, he's gonna lead off with his Mega Medisham. And I'm thinking, all right, awesome, Consight is here. We're gonna go for the Spirit Shackle. Let's state it here. It's very well I want to kill if, um, well, if I get the Spirit Shackle off. So we're gonna see the Mega Illusion. I'm thinking, oh my God, I got this guy. He is in the bag. As we go for the Spirit Shackle, and that is definitely Medicham dealt with. Is what I would say. It survives with a lot more than it's supposed to. And he retaliated with an Ice Beam. And this is the second time a Psychic Fighting type annihilated my number one <laughs> Pokemon to sweep. So with that in mind, I'm going to send off Tifa. Uh, I was super surprised with Medicham. Definitely a more bulkier Medicham for this Wi-Fi Bell, which I didn't actually expect. As I decided to go for a fake out here over the... Um, over the return, primarily here, I didn't think we'd switch out. 
and quite frankly I did not want bullet punch damage onto me so I want to stay healthy as possible as Jolteon comes in, no, Sylveon, and we see already here that this freaking monster is bulky too and the return will definitely not KO, Hyper Voice will clearly ruin me so my best switch in is Metagross, basically scout for damage as he's going to switch out directly and go to High Dragons, a very strong switching indeed. Though I am a Soul Vested, so I can definitely go for the damage. As it goes for Fire Blast, it will connect, and it does roughly over half. And so kind of bad to be naive and nothing else, as I don't have Bullet Punch here to wrap up, so I'm actually going to force myself to switch out. I am back in this Pokemon to be um, uh, a Scarf variant, so with that in mind, I felt that, you know, Azaxxus is a very good switch in. And I'm not fully speedy, I'm just, I am crept a few things that you believe for a while, base 100. So with that said, I'm going to actually go for Stealth Rocks here, just to get him up. Uh, kind of felt that both Medisham and Hydreigon are in a bad spot after all. As on this point, I'll actually go for a Poison Jab. Because of their Celebrity, I don't need to fear a Hyper Voice, and I really just need the damage here. I don't necessarily need to KO this Pokemon, as uh, we get a big crit here. While it still would have been a 2 hit KO, this is definitely putting in range and Poison isn't helping as he already predicted hoping I would switch into my Metagross, which clearly I didn't. And what makes that even worse is of course that now I am in a very nice spot where I can just KO the poor Sylveon. And I was predicting whether or not I should go for Earthquake or whatnot, but yeah, I'm not going to take a risk un unless a Hydreigon comes in again and he'll go for the free Earthquake would be really really redundant. As he's going to switch in Meloetta. Now, Meloetta here is a very strange Pokemon indeed. Uh, I was definitely predicting this Pokemon to be Scarf, but we actually are able to outspeed it, which is a good thing, because Earthquake should do a lot of damage. But it doesn't do enough, which shows me it's a bulky Pokemon. And this is Trick Room. And now the team matchup makes sense. It is a Trick Room Medisham, it's a Trick Room Glycopod, and of course Sylveon. All of this kind of makes sense now. And he goes for Dazzling Gleam, unlucky for him. The reason I stayed against Sylveon comes to fruition here, as his is of course, my berry activates, and we can retaliate with a Dragon Claw and KO, of course, in Meloetta. We should probably go for Earthquake today, thinking about it. As uh, he's gonna send in the Lysopod, and he only have one switch in and one switch in only, and that, of course, going to be the bus wall, the mailman, the beast, the monster. And trust me, you do not convince him or impress him but that first impression, as he will just soak that like no tomorrow. Now, from this situation, the only thing I really can do is actually go for Roost, as he goes for Liquidation. Uh, we see Life Orb on him, which means that he will slowly be whittled down. So, my ideal series of plays here is actually to just kind of stall out the Trick Room. So, we're counting them down as I know get healthy and whatnot, and um, I'm going to be forced to take another one of these Liquidation, as uh, this should be definitely enough to put him in range where uh, he, the Emergence Exit will activate. So, I'm actually going for a Leech Life here. Hoping to get something off guard, as we are going to see Pikachu. And trust me, Pikachu is not a switch in for the mailman, as we're going to go directly for the leech life. And uh, yeah, that's that's a dead Pikachu. I'll, I'll tell you guys that. So we got this Beast Boost race, but trust me, since the Twisted Dimension are over, there is no way we can actually pull this off. So the only thing I really can do from this point is uh, actually trying to whittle down the team efficiently as well as I can. So I'm going to sack a Saxus here. Garchomp did a very fine job in the early game, and I really, really didn't want to sack it. He deserved to live, but so did Buswell, so um, yeah, Garchomp gotta go. As uh, I can very, very easily now just go for Tifa. I'm actually gonna go for the very, very obvious play, which is going to be the fake out. Mainly because I do want to force him out, because I do that, he's gonna die to receive damage towards Blizzard later. As we see the Goliath support come in, and that's actually quite alright as I go for the fake out. It is not enough to KO, unfortunately, but what is fortunate here is that I can just switch into my nine tails, and all I really can do from this point is actually make Hazard kills him, or not Hazard, but the hail. Because every mon is now in range of Stealth Frogs plus Blizzard. So with that in mind, I set his whole team on a timer, and I'm trying here to actually just uh, play for differential as Goliath Sport is gonna fall. The next Pokemon followed up here is, of course, the Medicham. And, well, the thing that Medicham can do at best is possibly send Headbutt. And that would be that even with that in mind, a possible is a switch in here to be able to soak that. It has a lot of health. As he goes for a safe move here, is which is a build of punch, and uh, it doesn't do anything. And the buff by Hail is going to KO the Medicham. So, you know, hey, that's gone. As uh, his last Pokemon is Hydreigon. And, um... I was actually predicting him to go for Draco, just go for as much damage as possible, so I'm actually going to send in Metagross, 
thinking that would be the ideal switching. Probably thinking about it, Law Punnett would be in a better overall switching because of his natural bolt, because he actually goes for the Fire Blast and actually KOs the Metagross and get a very, very fair KO. And this is making us win the battle in 3 0 in this match. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this game, though it was a bit of a mixed bag in the beginning. So, a quick rundown for those who want to know Shadow Shoes team was really, really cool. Like, the Trick Room idea. It threw me off so much because when I started the game, you know, with Spirit Shackle on my Decidueye, I was definitely backing on, you know, we're gonna get that KO. That's gonna be pretty darn nice. And it made no sense for me that it did live. And, um, like at the time, I just I didn't know what this was all about because it made no sense for it to be a slower variant, if anything. Because then, well, most of my Pokemon would outspeed it, they probably would no matter what, anyway. But I still would have preferred that if I designed the team myself. And then we saw the Trick Room Melowet and everything just fall into place. And I really think Shadow Shoe lose the game because of that over prediction versus Garchomp. Uh, going for Shadow Ball with Sylveon, yeah, I mean, I get what he was doing. He was definitely trying to um, get the Metagross, and I, in every sense of way, I do believe that's a very fair play, at it, <laughs> to be completely frank. Um, but of course, he didn't know about my Roselli Berry, and the Roselli Berry is the very reason Melueta also goes down, making him lose his primary Trick Room set. While Medisham had Trick Room 2, this is definitely a matchup where I win because I got rid of the primer perk from his side, and he loses that because of that old prediction. It, that really is what it boils down to. It definitely should be said here that I, once you know as a Trick Room set, this is ingenious. Like, we see priority in Pikachu with Extreme Speed, we see priority with um, um, Goliath's Apart with First Impression of Awkward Jet and Bullet Punch Fake Out on Medicham. There are so many cool things here that, you know, once I look at it, I'm like, I, I am in awe because I, I realized this is a very smartly designed team. It didn't work because of an over prediction and because I started off so heavy against him. But quite frankly, had I played this game more defensively, I could might as well even lost because there are so many few things that deal with Goliath's about head on. So with that said, Shadow Shoe, your team was awesome. But really unfortunate actually to win because you kind of deserted. This is this is a very good idea and concept. So it feels really unfortunate that you didn't wasn't able to pull that off. I definitely feel you deserve to pull that off. So with that said, guys, as always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And as always, you know. Leave a like and you know stuff like that. Subscribe to the channel. You know I'll, I kind of want to do those things. I realize the only people watching me are probably folks so already right, subscribed, so it feels weird. You know what? I don't. I should not do that. Like the video if you didn't. Don't like it. That's that's the sort of my life. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you guys all for watching. Really, and have a good day. And etc. Bye. Etc. Really.